Looking to replace your old RV steps with some extra storage? Let's talk about that. Chris Dow here with Around the Sun We Go, and in my previous video, I talked about how if you were upgrading from the old fold under the rig style step to the new style, and you weren't gonna use your old steps anymore, you could actually remove those from your rig and fill that empty space with some pretty cool storage solutions from both Lippert and Morad. Well, Lippert reached out to me once again to see if I'd be interested in testing out their solid step storage box, and I said, what the hey, Stu, send it on over. I received the 30 pound package and inside I found it to be very well protected with multiple layers of heavy duty bubble wrap. The actual box weighs in at around 25 pounds and Lippert says it's rated to hold 100 pounds of your stuff. It's made of steel and is covered in a durable black powder coat. It also includes a sealed locking handle with two keys. I found the mounting bracket, hardware, and keys packed loose inside the box. It was now time to install. Since our front door had a new style step installed from the factory, there was no empty space to fill there, but our rig did come with the old style step installed on the back door, and since we rarely ever use the back steps, I thought shedding some weight and adding some extra storage space back there seemed like an awesome idea. Removing the old steps was a very simple process. There were two carriage bolts on each side of the step, I used a deep 9 16th socket on my impact to loosen three of the four nuts, but I had to use a wrench on one of them due to the tight quarters. Once I had all four nuts loose, I removed just the back two bolts. This allowed me to pivot the steps away from the rig for better leverage. I then carefully removed just the nuts from the front while leaving the bolts in place to support the weight of the steps. At this point, I was able to position myself under the steps so I could support them fully. I relieved the weight from the bolts, popped out one, and then have my lovely assistant and camera woman remove the final bolt. With the steps in my lap, I carefully lower them to the ground, and that was that. I was expecting an easy plug and play swap where I just mount the box to the step brackets using the four carriage bolts and nuts that were holding the steps on originally. But no. Lippert's instructions want you to drill eight holes into your frame's I-beam to attach the mounting bracket. Then they want you to hang the box from the mounting bracket using the two riveted tabs on the back. Then they want you to further secure the box to the bracket using four little quarter inch flange bolts. This seemed like total overkill for my application. Now there are probably other factors here that I'm unaware of that the engineers had to take into account when they were designing this. Maybe difference between brands or different size rigs, or maybe even the way in which the box was manufactured. But for my specific situation, it seemed like an overcomplicated installation process and it didn't make much sense for me. So I decided to switch things up a bit. Since my old steps weighed 50 plus pounds and they're also rated to support 300 pounds, I thought it was reasonable to assume the old brackets could support a 25 pound box with 100 pounds of weight capacity. With this in mind, I decided the simplest thing to do would be to drill two holes in each side of the box and hang it from the old brackets with four carriage bolts, just like the old steps were. As I test fitted everything, I also decided it would be best to attach Lippert's mounting bracket to the back of the box so it could rest against the frame and provide some additional support. It looked like the bottom row of holes on my existing step bracket would be the best ones to use, so I marked their locations on the box. As you can see here, I made sure that the mounting bracket was pressed flush against the frame rail so there was no tilt and everything would be even front to back. You'll notice the yellow marks seem low in all of these clips because the box is resting on a makeshift stand, but they line up perfectly when the box is raised to its ideal installation height. Another thing I noticed is that there would be a significant gap between the side of the box and the existing step brackets. To remedy this, I picked up four 3 8 of an inch spacers and to compensate for the extra width, four new stainless steel carriage bolts that were 3 8 of an inch longer than my old ones. I also used 12 3 8 of an inch stainless steel fender washers, which I thought would not only provide a little extra spacing, but also a more even load distribution. After checking, double checking, and triple checking that the marks were in the right spot, I used a 3 8 bit to drill the holes in one side of the box. To ensure the other side was an exact mirror, I then measured, double measured, and triple measured these holes and applied those same measurements to the other side. Once all four holes were drilled, it was time to bolt everything in. The order of hardware was bolt through the step bracket, then washer, then spacer, then another washer, then through the box, then another washer, and finally the nut. I torqued down everything pretty tightly, and then I was done. So, how stable was the box after this modified installation? Well, I was able to do push-ups on it with no movement, then I was able to stand on it, then I was able to use it as a step for going in and out of the rig, then I was able to work out vigorously on it. This gave me the confidence to do various other things on it. At this point, I was taking the solidness of it as an insult, so I went rage zombie on it. 
but nothing I could do would move the box. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll hold 100 pounds. But all jokes aside, the new box is awesome. It looks so much better than the old steps, and I'm excited to see how it holds up. We're gonna be keeping all of our ratcheting straps, bungees, and other tools we use for loading up and strapping down our car in the garage on travel days. I'm also super stoked that it can still be used as a step for getting in and out of the garage on the rare occasion we need to.